In this video about Ecotech Analysis, I'll take you on to a walkthrough into the program and we'll take a look at some important key elements that you need to understand and use the right way to have validated simulation results and to use this great tool in the right way. I have now opened the conceptual environment with Inside Ecotech and I will provide you with some key elements that is necessary to understand and use the right way to ha have validated simulations results and to use this application effectively. So right now I'm in the page tab visualize and let's start out here in the project tab. So this is where you can add in project specific information and you can load the climate file that you're using in the project. You can rotate orientation, you can check out and edit latitude and longitude and time zone stuff like that. So having the right climate file is one of the key things in with inside this program and you can access that from the US Department of Energy or you can use tools like the metronome to generate EPW files that you can convert using the weather tool. With inside the 3D editor this is where you can really work and set up your geometry with inside the project so you can work with very conceptual geometry for context and form proposals but as well you can use the zone management here to control a lot of these different proposals that you're pulling in so a zone is really just a layer as you know from AutoCAD but as well a zone is a closed envelopment that is a room or a building that has a lot of different thermal properties that you can set up here in the zone management, looking at the internal design conditions, occupancy and operation times, and the thermal properties and systems that you want to implement and test out in the thermal analysis. So depending on which type of analysis, it's really different outputs that you'll need to pull into the model. So it's really important that the geometry is working the right way, no matter if you're doing a thermal analysis shadow calculation or acoustic simulation or whatever you need to make sure that this directional arrow here from each surfaces in the model is pointing from the inside to the outside that's a very important parameter here and i have explained that in another video on the, the website here so you can really do a lot of great things with this tool both visually and also calculating calculation functionalities and a great way to visualize the visual functionality is here in the visualize tab. Here you can actually also set up different kind of functionality and way of looking at the model that you can save out in these different camera views that are actually also materials that you're working with. So if I want to see the zone color or I want to have my sun path with a compass on my surface grid here or whatever I can quickly customize that for the application and set up those things. Up here we have our menus and we can access most of the functionality from here to go calculate and access sun path diagram, solar axis analysis for solar radiation, sunlight hours, lighting analysis for electric lighting and daylighting, right to light analysis where we can do a lot of cool stuff creating geometry that we can use for exam and shading conditions on site and again the thermal calculations and all of these things here will just help us access guides or help files that can help us uh, perform the analysis the right way. The zone management here is a very important tool because it helps us to structure all the different design proposals and different types of geometry. So right now I'm just working on a very simple form that I can use for shadow calculations just going here to the page tab shadow settings and then I can actually just scroll for that specific time of day I want to look at or I can search for my sun extreme during the summer or during the winter or whatever kind of sun extreme that I want to examine so often you want to take three times a year summer, spring, autumn and then winter. So that helped us to kind of create a reference around the different proposals that we're working on. So up here in the zone management, this is where we can have all the different proposals just lined up and we can turn them on and off to look at different kinds of proposals and different kinds of geometry that we want to implement in the project. And we can of course go to zone management to examine all the properties for thermal and general settings in regarding to the internal design conditions 
with inside a space or building. So really a comprehensive tool with a lot of functionality, but don't be scared. When you get into it, it's quite logical to work with. Just make sure to have the right climate data. Make sure that your surfaces are orientated the right way. So you have your directional arrow from the inside to the outside. And make sure that when you do simulations, only to have turned on the proposal or design that you want to examine. And with inside the analysis tab, you also have kind of a variety of different analysis, thermal analysis, solar exposure, material cost, resource consumption, reverberation time, which really is great to use, and acoustic response and stuff like that. And also you have a lot of different ways you can work with your grid, or you can work with surfaces, you can work with spraying out rays and acoustic particles, and you can add in scripts, commands, and you can use also this great tool here, object transformation, to to make geometry that's aligned with the sun and stuff like that. So really a great tool with a lot of functionality. Take a look.